So we're gonna hop into a match on Octane here. And we got the Jetpack King on our team. We're gonna win. Still gonna be using our Honey Badger because I haven't. I don't think I've unlocked that many squad points yet. They're so hard to get. It so, takes so long to rank up also. Hey, how's it going everyone? This is Mike with the Game Ninjas. And the Elgato just cut my live count for the next Damn three match. games. So um, I apologize for the next two days. There's going to be no live count over those games. Uh, also at the end here, the audio gets slightly out of sync Time with the squad. gun shooting hopefully I can get that fixed before tomorrow um, I'm working on it but I do apologize and it will be better in three days I promise so since there's no uh, live comment with the game I just wanted to didn't want to have three straight days of no live com and no explanation why so I want to get on today and explain it and also talk about how I feel about this game so far so far um, in the beginning, right when I got it, I did not like this game. It really does feel like a new game, and I w really wasn't prepared, or didn't really think it would be that different from past ones. The maps are really different. There's, like, height advantages is a big thing with these maps on this game. And when you play the map for the first time, you don't know the layout of the map and where people can get and can't get. So you're always dying from places you didn't know you could go which is kind of annoying um, but now that I've learned the maps and uh, they're pretty they're pretty good some of them are better than others but uh, I do like them and I do like this game now that I know how to play the maps I changed my style of play from being on a, I used to be a more aggressive player and I changed to a little bit slower and a little bit more defensive style of play. I used to just like run out and kill people, try to run out into their spawn, kill as many people as I could before I died. Oh, and there's the glitch with the Elgato. I think from here on out the audio is out of sync. I'm sorry about that, I do apologize. But as I was saying, uh, I changed to a slower s style of play and it it's really improved how I've been doing in this game. My KD in Black Ops 2 is about 1.2 and currently right now I think I have about a 1.4 and that's still going up very slowly. Watch me just throw this care package on a roof right there. So the first thing I want to talk about is the weapons. I really do think that they did a great job balancing the weapons. I don't know if it's just the lower health is what they needed but they really did do a great job of balancing all the weapons. There's a lot of people running around with different types of weapons that you've never really seen before. There's uh, people using assault rifles, some machine guns, the uh, light machine gun, the chainsaw, that's pretty good. A lot of people use that. There's uh, people running around with shotguns, people running around with snipers. They said they're going to remove quick scoping, and by just making the sniper like where you aim, is where you're looking. They made it smart and it actually works and you can actually quick scope people better that they improve the sniping in the game. Even though they said they were going to remove it. Get my maniac. This is probably the best game gameplay I've gotten so far for this quest of 60 or whatever I'm gonna call it. Um, so yeah they did a great job balancing the weapons in this game. The next thing I want to talk about is perk system. It's my dog killing people. Look at this guy camping right here. Didn't even see him. Camping back here. Couldn't see him at all. But yeah, the, the perk system. I really like what they've done. You're not limited to one or two perks from each class. You can pick however many perks you want up to 11 points. The way they improve the pick 10 system in this game from Black Ops 2. They did a really good job of it, I think. The only thing I think that they could have done better is maybe the secondary weapon could have been worth 2 points because that seems a bit of a, a waste a little bit that your secondary is only worth 1 point towards perks. 
but our other other than that, I think it was it's a really great system that they improved on. And uh, yeah. So next thing I want to talk about is the maps. Uh, a lot of people are hating on the maps. They're saying they're too big. There's just you can go wherever you want. You can. There's such a height advantage on all these maps. Friendly SATCOM active. Um, but for me, I kind of like the maps. There's a couple ones that are not as good as some of the others, but overall, I think the maps are pretty good. I don't know how that guy just danced out of the way of my throwing knife. Enemy that spotted. guy didn't though. Uh, yeah, some of the Stonehaven. Uh, even the bad maps like Stonehaven. I don't really like that map for team deathmatch or anything. But if you play Search and Rescue or some other game type, it can really change the way the map plays and make it a better map. Uh, talking about Search and Rescue and other game types, Search and Rescue is fun. Uh, it gets kind of annoying when you're you have you're playing with a bunch of randoms and your idiot teammates don't pick up your tags. But overall, if you're playing with friends, it's a great game type. And Blitz, it, it's kind of fun. Again, you have to be playing with your friends to have a good time if you want to win. It's too easy to score. Uh, but there's the end of the game. Uh, 20 and 1 with uh, Maniac Juggernaut. 8 kills or so, I think, with it. Or my dog might have gotten a couple of those. But yeah, thanks for watching. And tune back tomorrow. Again, I'm sorry, there's not going to be any live comp tomorrow. The Elgato rage quit on me. So thanks for watching. And have a great day.